I start uh, to get in the jewelry business when I was barely 18. And the reason I started to work because I already I was already married with a kid, so I had to start, stop studying. And the first job I found by accident was in a jewelry store in Florence. In my life was, professionally speaking, a, like a miracle. And I was very lucky. I was hired as a general manager of Ari Winston in Saudi Arabia. After four years, another amazing company, which was Bulgaria at the time, I received an offer to work for them in charge of the VIP around the world. Until a certain moment after seven years, I felt that I had to change something in my professional life. And I decided to start with my own brand. And I suggested to my partners to start to design our, our own line and to produce, uh, produce it ourselves. They looked at me like they thought I was drunk or I was crazy. So finally, after a few days, they told me, listen, or will you buy us out or will you buy you out? And I bought them out. And I followed my, let's call it a dream. I wanted to do from the very beginning, what you call haute couture in the fashion. I wanted to transmit this in jewelry business. And it clicked in my mind, how come no jewelers use black diamonds? So I adapted the black diamonds on my new design and uh, I started to do bold things, very visible things. Miami store just opened like three, four months ago. We were waiting this since two or three years. It just opened like three, four months ago. It's one of the best in the States. And uh, besides the, the design, besides the craftsmanship, the creativity, I link from the very, very beginning uh, what you call today glamour. We started from the Eden Rock and we sit there every year till today. And at the beginning there was very much criticized. So what they had is is creating a discotheque. But that was part of our success because today we have really big stars coming to our party. The last event was Sheryl Stone. I think when you stay in business a long time it says a lot about the quality of what you do and that people enjoy what you do. I was almost jealous because uh, People they didn't look really my jewelry, they were looking at Cheryl Stone. This is our 20th anniversary, and for the 20th anniversary, I decided to do 20 unique pieces. And we did, during our evening, during the cocktail, we did an amazing defile, 20 beautiful models with 20 unique pieces. When I looked myself, this defile, drop came down from my eyes. I said, wow, I've been able to do that. After 20 years, 20 years of passion, 20 years of craziness, 20 years of risk, but 20 years of freedom. It was just the love for, for this business.